Acclimatization is the process of allowing your body to get used to thin air. The taller the peak, the more time you need to spend acclimatizing. So essentially what you're doing is you're building more red blood cells to allow your body to function more efficiently at altitude. And some of these smaller peaks like Mount Everest, uh, you might only need to acclimatize for a few days. Uh, taller peaks like Mount Everest, it might be a month, a month and a half of acclimatization to go for the summit. And we employ different techniques depending on the altitude and the size of the mountain. So some of these smaller peaks like Mount Everest, we can simply just take our time climbing up the peak, uh, increasing altitude slowly. Some of these bigger peaks like Denali and Aconcagua, we may employ uh, carry high, sleep low uh, strategy where we carry gear up, drop it off at the next camp, drop back down to sleep, and then we move up to the camp the next day. That just gives our body more time to get used to the altitude. And then when we're talking about these very extreme high altitude peaks, 8,000 meter peaks, Montesalu, Everest, we talk about doing acclimatization rotation. So we may go in, acclimate at base camp, and then take a rotation up the mountain to camp one or camp two, come back down, allow the body to rest. Once you're on the mountain, the altitude is too high to rest and recover up there. So you need to return to base camp uh, to rest and recover. And then you head up the mountain again, do a higher acclimatization rotation before returning to base camp. And then you might be ready to go for the summit. So that's a totally different strategy. And the strategy that you employ really depends on the specific peak and uh, the, the extremeness of the altitude. There are several risks to not acclimatizing properly. And uh, most of those have to do with uh, you know, altitude illness, some of the more serious ones being pulmonary or cerebral edema, uh, fluid in the lungs or fluid in pressure on the brain. And you know these can be life-threatening at altitude. Because of these potential altitude illnesses, it's extremely, extremely important to hire on with a reputable guide service, an experienced guide service, that knows how to identify these symptoms, to have guides that have been in this situation before, they know what to look for, and if you're uh, displaying these symptoms of pulmonary edema, cerebral edema, they know what to look for so that they can prevent them getting worse, get you back down to safety um, before things um, progress too far.